Hello students, you're welcome to today's economics class. Today's lesson is on financial regulatory agencies and markets. In today's lesson, we will be looking at some of the regulatory agencies in the Nigerian financial markets and their functions. Let's begin. A regulatory agency is also known as a regulatory authority. It is a government agency responsible for exercising autonomous authority over some areas of human activity in a regulatory capacity. Financial regulation is a form of regulation or supervision which subjects financial institutions to certain requirements, restrictions and guidelines aiming at maintaining the stability and integrity of the financial system. Now let's look at some of the regulatory agencies in the Nigerian financial market. First we have the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC. The Securities and Exchange Commission was created in 1979. It is the main regulatory institution of the Nigerian capital market. It is supervised by the Federal Ministry of Finance. The SEC maintains surveillance over the Nigerian Stock Exchange with the mandate of ensuring orderly and equitable dealings in securities and protecting the market against insider trading abuses. The functions of the Security and Exchange Commission are 1. The registration of securities and market intermediaries to ensure that only fit and proper persons or institutions are allowed to operate in the capital market. 2. To make rules and guidelines for trading. 3. Inspection of capital market operators. 4. Surveillance over exchange and trading system to forestall breaches of market rules as well as deter and detect manipulations and trading practices which can cause market disruption. 5. Investigation of alleged breaches of the law and regulations governing the capital market and enforcement of sanctions where appropriate. 6. Enforcement of rules guarding the operations of the capital market or the operations in the capital market and taking action against defaulters. Next we have the Central Bank of Nigeria, the CBN. The Central Bank of Nigeria was established by the CBN Act of 1958 and it commenced operation on July 1st, 1959. It is an institution that manages the state's currency money supply and interest rates. The central bank possesses the monopoly to increase or decrease the amount of money in circulation and also prints the national currency. Here are some of the functions of the central bank. Number one, it manages the nation's money supply. Two, issuing of banknotes which serves as the country's legal tender and which will be accepted as a means of exchange. Note that the central bank has the sole monopoly of issuing banknotes in every country. 3. A lender of the last resort. This means that when a bank is faced with shortage of liquid funds, after trying all other sources to obtain loan without success, it can always apply to the central bank for loan. It serves as a banker to other banks and financial institutions. And five, debt management. The central bank manages its domestic debt and services external debt on the instruction of the Federal Ministry of Finance. They are empowered to issue debt instruments and manage federal government's domestic debt in terms and conditions agreed upon by the government and the bank. The central bank serves as a banker and advisor to the government. It promotes monetary stability and sound financial environment. And 
it maintains external reserve to safeguard the international value of the legal tender which we know as money next we have the nigerian investment promotion commission the nipc the nigerian investment promotion commission was established by the nipc act decree number 16 of 1995 to promote coordinate and monitor investment in nigeria the basic powers of the nipc are prescribed in the act the body is a corporate commission with a perpetual succession and a common seal and may sue and be sued in its corporate name there is a governing council which is responsible for the discharge of the functions of the commission the council consists of one the chairman two a representative of each of the following federal ministries who shall not be below the rank of a permanent secretary these ministries are the ministry of industry trade and investment the ministry of finance of petroleum information and culture foreign affairs, budget and national planning. 3. A representative of the National Planning Commission who shall not be below the rank of a permanent secretary. 4. The Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria. 5. Six other persons from the private sector organization which are to be appointed by the President on the recommendation of the Minister. The Chairman shall also be appointed by the president the functions of the nigerian investment promotion commission are to coordinate monitor encourage and provide necessary assistance and guidance for the establishment and operation of enterprises in nigeria to promote investment in and outside the country by effective promotional methods to collect collate, analyze, and disseminate information about investment opportunities and sources of investment capital and advice on requests, to register and keep records of all enterprises on which the Act applies, to identify specific projects and invite interested investors for participation in those projects. Six, to provide and disseminate up-to-date information on incentives available to investors. And lastly, to advise the federal government on policy matters including fiscal measures des designed to promote the industrialization of Nigeria. And lastly, we have the National Insurance Commission, the NICOM. The Commission was established in 1997 by the National Insurance Commission Act of 1997 with the responsibility of ensuring the effective administration, supervision, regulation and control of insurance businesses in Nigeria and protection of insurance policyholders, beneficiaries and third parties to insurance contracts. The Commission has a governing council which shall be responsible for managing and superintending the affairs of the Commission. The governing council consists of one a part-time chairman two the commissioner of insurance three two deputy commissioners of insurance four a representative of each of the following the federal ministry of finance not below the rank of a director the central bank of nigeria not below the rank of a director the chartered institute of insurance of nigeria or the chartered insurance institute of nigeria the federal ministry of commerce and tourism and lastly three part-time members to represent the interest of the public the functions of the national insurance commission are to establish standards for the conduct of insurance businesses in nigeria to act as advisor to the federal government on all insurance matters to approve rates of insurance premiums to be paid in respect of all classes of insurance businesses, to regulate transactions between insurers and reinsurers in Nigeria and outside Nigeria, to ensure adequate protection on strategic government assets and other properties, and lastly to publish for sale and distribute to the public annual reports and statistics on the insurance industry summary the main responsibilities of financial regulators are to enforce 
application laws, try to prevent cases of market manipulation, ensure the competence of financial service providers, execute inspections, protect trades and clients, and investigate and prosecute misconduct such as insider trading abuses. Now let's take down this assignment. One, state four functions of National Insurance Commission. Two, state the major regulators or agencies in the financial institution. Thank you.